Hi, Harm here. I got a comment from Cats Kill Mountain Girl the other day on one of the uh, videos that I made on this hexagon, this Bargo Titanium Hexagon Wood Stove. She says, does the Stanley Camp cook pot fit on the stove? The pot is so narrow that it's hard to find something that it fits on. Well, it fits. I mean, I think it's usable. It's right at the edge as far as uh, any smaller, or any bigger rather, and you wouldn't be able to fit it on there. But it seems fairly sturdy. Also, just to throw it in, I have a Vargo Titanium Cup, one of the small ones. And it fits on the Vargo wood stove. So there you go with that. I thought while I had this set up today, what I do is a boil test on this using the Stanley Camp, uh, the Camp cook pot, along with the Mini Trangia on the Evernew titanium cross pieces. Boy, there's a mix up. So, what I'll, let me break here, get my water set, and I'll be right back to do the test. Okay, I've got this all set up. Let me light the Trangia and get it to a bloom. So, the configuration I have here is the Vargo Hexagon Wood Stove on top of the Evergreen, Ever New rather, Titanium cross pieces, the mini trangia. I'm using this to lift it up so it's closer to that one inch sweet spot. And I'm going to use the Stanley Camp pot. Okay, it looks like we have a bloom there. Two cups of water. That's the one thing I don't like about this stove. The uh, it has a slot on the one side to hold the base in place and it pops out really easy. So anyway, that already messed up the temperature a little bit. Let's say 60 degrees. Two cups of water at 60 degrees. Room temperature 85, 48% humidity. And let's see where this goes. Okay, I wasn't going to set up camera two, but kind of interesting here. We're seven minutes into the test. I'm hoping you can see. It pretty much looks like uh, maybe I should have put the Trangia down lower. It almost looks like it's totally missing the bottom of the pot. The flames are coming right out to the outside edge of the Stanley Camp pot. But we'll see how this goes. There we have 210. To 11. Come on. To 12 in 12 minutes 35 seconds. Okay. Let me just put this flame out so I can do a alcohol consumption. Okay, not real good, but I think part of it, well part of it is because this is a stainless steel pot versus the aluminum, like say with the Boy Scout pot. Also the diameter of the pot makes a big difference. Uh, I think hopefully you saw it on camera too. The flames were coming up at such an angle because this is such a small diameter. The flames would come up and kind of miss the pot. It would just maybe just barely touch the edge of the pot and go up. I'm not sure you know how much was actually in contact. Whereas with the Boy Scout pot it's much wider so when the flames came out they still hit the bottom of the pot. So I guess you have to play around with this as far as you know take the diameter of your pot into consideration and move this up or down. Maybe if this had been down enough that still air came in through the bottom air holes, but the flames were contained inside the uh, hexagon wood stove, 
that they come up and hit the bottom of the pot. This time, instead of hitting the bottom, it was actually hitting right onto the side. Okay. Guess every test shows us something, whether it's a success or not. But I thank Catskill Mountain Girl for her comment. Yes, the Stanley, boy, I have problems with this name. The Stanley Camp Cook Pot does indeed fit on the Vargo Titanium Wood Stove. Um, so does the small Vargo Titanium Cup. This is the cup rather than the mug, the small one. Uh, what's the diameter on this? The diameter on this is like 3.18 inches in diameter. And this fits on without falling through. So I thank Cat's Girl Mountain Girl for her comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, oh, one other thing. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'll put down below how much alcohol was consumed. So again, I thank you for watching, and watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.